Hi everyone, hola a todos y bienvenidos a My Mundo Inglés, inglés fácil para todo el mundo. Yo me llamo Christian, soy australiano y te quiero llevar a mi mundo inglés. Esta es la segunda parte de una serie de tres partes que he hecho sobre las preguntas y las respuestas más comunes en inglés. Asegúrate de que ves la primera parte también. All right, are you ready? Let's begin. En la segunda parte, vamos un poquito más allá del primer encuentro de alguien a aprender preguntas y respuestas más genéricas que se tratan de pasatiempos, hábitos, gustos y sensibilidades, hobbies, habits, tastes, and senses. Do you like sport? Do you like sport? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like to cook? Do you like to cook? Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Are you into surfing? Are you into surfing? Are you into significa te gusta? Or te interesa? Are you into surfing? ¿Te gusta surfear? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Woo! What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? I hang out with my friends. I hang out with my friends. Hang out significa pasar el tiempo, normalmente con amigos. I go to the gym. I go to the gym. I go shopping. I go shopping. Do you work out? Do you work out? Work out significa hacer ejercicio. Normalmente en el gimnasio con las pesas. Do you work out? Yeah, three to four times a week. Three to four times a week. Can you sing? Can you sing? La, 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 la. Uh, no, not very well. No, not very well. I wish. Can you dance? Can you dance? Yeah, pretty well. Yeah, pretty well. La palabra pretty tiene dos significados. Uno como adjetivo femenino para las cosas que se perciben que sean femeninas. Por ejemplo, These flowers are so pretty. These flowers are so pretty. She is really pretty. She is really pretty. No diría, He is really pretty. Pues podría decirlo, pero sería como si dijera, él es muy linda. En cambio, pretty se usa también como adverbio en la expresión coloquial, como en español que se dice medio, medio bien, pretty well, or pretty good. Which shirt do you prefer? Which shirt do you prefer? I prefer the blue one. I prefer the blue one. Which country would you most like to visit? Which country would you most like to visit? I'd love to visit India. I'd love to visit India. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? En la expresión coloquial, normalmente no decimos want to. Hacemos una contracción informal de want to a wanna. Wanna. Where do you wanna go? Where do you wanna go? He hecho un video sobre los trucos y las técnicas así que te harán parecer más como un activo que pueden encontrar en las infocards por arriba. I wanna go to New York. I wanna go to New York. What have you been up to lately? 
What have you been up to lately? Not much really. The usual. Not much really. The usual. To be up to tiene un par de significados. En la pregunta, what have you been up to lately? El sentido es más que simplemente hacer. Es una pregunta que solo preguntaría a alguien que ya conozco porque quiero saber lo que has hecho en tu vida, qué has hecho con tu tiempo, cómo has pasado el tiempo, desde que nos vimos la última vez. What have you been up to today? What have you been up to today? What has your sister been up to? What has your sister been up to? En el presente se dice what are you up to? What are you up to? Es la forma mejor de preguntar qué haces, que literalmente significa what are you doing? Pero what are you doing es una pregunta que preguntaría solo si veo que alguien está haciendo algo específico. Se trata de una acción, mientras what are you up to es muy familiar y general. Por ejemplo, si por casualidad me encuentro con un amigo por la calle, le podría decir Hey, what are you up to? Hey, what are you up to? Do you want to or wanna grab a coffee? Do you wanna grab a coffee? Grab significa agarrar. Grab. Pero si yo te digo, let's grab a coffee or do you wanna grab a coffee? Quiero decir, vamos a tomar un café. Let's grab a coffee. Ah, I love coffee. I love coffee. How about a coffee? How about a coffee? How about es una frase que usas cuando haces una sugerencia. How about a coffee? Oh yes, that sounds great. Yes, that sounds great. Coffee, 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 coffee. What do you want? What do you want? Um, I'll have a beer. I'll have a beer. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm starving. I'm starving. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Are you hot? Are you hot? No, not really. No, not really. Are you cold? Are you cold? Yes, I forgot my jacket. Yes. I forgot my jacket. <clears throat> Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Do you drink? Do you drink? No, I don't. No, I don't. Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? My best friend's James. My best friend's James. What's that? What's that? It's my suitcase. It's my suitcase. Oh, God. Heavy. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my cousin. I'm talking to my cousin. All right, everybody. Acabamos aquí la segunda parte de la serie. Now you know a few more interesting and useful questions and answers that you can use when you meet new people and you want to get to know more information. If you can think of any interesting and useful questions and answers that I didn't come up with in this video, you can write them down in the comments below and I will respond to you. Si te gustó este video, dale un like. Y si quieres seguir aprendiendo inglés conmigo, por favor, suscríbete a mi canal. 
Ve a mi website mymundoingles.com para encontrar videos, ejercicios y recursos exclusivos solo para ustedes. I'll see you guys in the third part. See you later. Bye.